Hi guys, my name is Queen. I'm the project director for Seasonal Wings Studio Productions, and this is the introduction for my cast for the narration project of The Crucible. Hope you guys enjoy! Hey, my name is Lyra, and my pronouns are she or her. I play the roles of Mercy Lewis and Sarah Good. I really love Mercy's audition lines. They're really funny to me. Like how she made a big deal out of a powerful sneeze and was like, oh yeah, that sneeze is powerful. She's getting better. <laughs> and I don't normally play middle-aged women, though Sarah's energy is what gets me going. I really enjoyed saying her lines, and I feel like Sarah's lines let me express my excitement. Nice to meet you all. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tapes, and I was cast on the Crucible Project as one of the narrators. I personally don't really care about my pronouns, so you can call me whatever. I was really interested to become one of the narrators for this project, especially because of the art of the main page and the overarching story. It just all felt very intriguing to me personally. Also, I kind of wanted to get more experience as a narrator, especially because it is something that I might want to do more in the future. And I was kind of ecstatic to find out that I've been cast for this role. Thank you for having me. Hello, my name is Jeros. I go by the male pronouns, and I will have the honorable privilege of playing Marshall Herrick. I don't know much about The Crucible, but after reading Marshall Herrick's lines, I'm kind of excited because he is passionate about his work, but he's also more passionate about making sure that what he's doing is the right thing. And I kind of admire that. I'm excited to work on this. Thank you for having me. Aloha, everyone. It's C. Oakland VA, voice of Judge Harthorn. Um, I guess what really attracted me to this project and this character in particular is it was just so different than anything I've ever done. I've never played a southern judge before that seems to be in the era of witch hunts, so I'm excited to see what this project entails and how everything will unfold. All right, it's been real. I'll see you on the other side. Mahalo nui loa. Hi everyone, I'm Katie. My pronouns are she and her, and I voice narrator one. I'm really excited for this project, and what made me audition for this project is, well, of course being the narrator, because I've never been a narrator. I like to try new things, so um, yeah. Anyways, it was nice meeting you guys, and bye! Hello, my name is Toto. My pronouns will be any, but preferably she, her. I play Betty Paris, Tituba, and Elizabeth Proctor. Quite the bunch, right? And though I usually voice children in projects, Betty Paris seemed interesting to voice. I mean, look at the circumstances of the witch hunt and whatnot. And I was also interested in her story. For Tituba, I wanted to see how she could convey and express herself considering her own circumstances as well. And for Elizabeth Proctor, I loved the emotion she had when voicing lines from the auditions, and I obviously took the bait. But regardless of that, I'm well aware that all the characters in the story are so interesting, and they all have their own depth, and I would really want to see how far this would go and how the story would progress. Thanks for having me. Hello, the name is Etrius. I go by he or him, and I play the role of narrator too. I like the narrator role because I've spent a lot of time uh, reading stories and creepypastas and such to people, so a narrator role fit very nicely for me. The complex writing and extensive use of sophisticated vocabulary makes it a makes it quite a joy to read, so that's something I like about my role. Hi, my name is Amanda, and my pronouns are she, her. I will be playing the role of Mrs. Anne Putnam. What drew me to this role was that I've always been a fan of The Crucible, and Mrs. Putnam's character in particular was so interesting to me because of how she uses the idea of witchcraft and religion to process her own grief throughout the story, and how eccentric she can be. I am very excited to be a part of this project. Hey guys, my name is Josh, but everyone calls me Tortilla. My pronouns are he, him, and I'm going to be playing the role of Deputy Governor Danforth. So, uh, Director Queen actually reached out to me, and she asked me if I could help her with her project. So I was taking a look at all the characters that still needed roles left, and I saw the Deputy, and his stuck out to me the most from all the other characters. And I was recording the lines for him, and I was actually having a lot of fun doing so, because I have to, like, display a sort of anger. I hope you guys look forward to my eventual appearance as Deputy Danforth when he makes his first appearance in Act 3. And I would like to thank Director Queen for this opportunity. 
Hello everybody, my name is Hoodly Boogly, but I also go by Sky Cook. I use the he's and him's, and the role I'm in the Crucible is Ezekiel Chiva. What I like about this character is that he looks like a guy of blind justice, meaning that he goes by the book all the way through, no matter good or evil intention. So I believe this will be an interesting character to play in, and this will be my first time listening to The Crucible, so this will be fun for everybody, including myself. So see you there! Hello, hello, my name is Merlene, and I indeed am a voice actor in this project called The Crucible, playing the role of Abigail Williams. I was able to get a role in this project because the director had reached out to me asking me to audition for one of the listed characters and I absolutely loved Abigail's lines. She just seemed to me like a British bossy genius. Of course I have to get to know the character more but from what I saw I auditioned with those lines provided and I was lucky enough to be able to get the role. Hey there, my name's Jackson, but you can call me Randy, because that's what a lot of people call me. My pronouns are he, him, and I play narrator four and Francis Nurse. And really at first, Queen reached out to me for this role. So I looked at the project and remembered that I had read it back in, um, I think, ninth grade in high school. So I was already really interested in it. And so, yeah, uh, I tried out for Narrator 4, and she thought I'd do really well as Francis Nurse, so that's why I'm playing them. So I'm really just excited to get this whole thing going. Hi, everyone. My name is Rachel, or Ray, whatever you want to call me, and I use she, her, or she, they pronouns. I play Mary Warren, and I auditioned for her because I remember in my junior year of high school, I did a project on her, and to be honest, I don't really remember what the project was about because that was back in like 2016 but I remember really liking her so when I saw that there was an audition for her I went for it and I'm very honored that I got her um I'll have to tell my English teacher that but yeah I'm very 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 excited for this project and to work with all of you hello my name is Emery Weir I go by he him and I'll be playing the role of a narrator I truly love narration and all that it brings to a story. Many stories would be incomplete without narration, and I am honored to be a part of a wonderful and impactful story such as this. Hey guys, I'm Harriet, and people know me as EPDeer23. My pronouns is she and her, but sometimes people call me they or them when it comes to more than one person. The roles that I'm playing as is Suzanne Rawcon and Rebecca Ness. The reason I like my roles as Susanna and Rebecca is they both generally have the same personality of being kind and being generally sweet people. Hi there, my name is Dre, also known on, as the online handle Hyralk. My pronouns are he, him. I have been cast as the Reverend Paris. And what I'm excited about for this character is the the sense of authority, I get to bring a real a real power to it that excites me and, and interests me to play into. Hello, my name is Tundra, and I play John Proctor in the project. Um, I'll be honest, I really like John for his disgruntled, old, battered personality. It really... Mirrors his VA. <laughs> but in all seriousness, no. It, 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 he seems like a fun character to play. I get to be very dramatic, it seems like, with my delivery. And that's always a plus. So, I look forward to working on this. Hello! My name is Memo, and I go by the pronouns of he, him. I have been selected to play Mr. Thomas Putnam. And something I liked about the character was... He wasn't the kindest. He seemed manipulative, vindictive, and downright mean sometimes. Hi, this is Kenny. I use he, him pronouns. I am playing in the role of Giles Corey. 
and Hopkins uh, for the Crucible. One thing I like about the role for for Giles Corey is um, he's rather, for having such a, a gruff sort of muscular exterior and appearance, he, he's rather canny, rather inquisitive. Really looking forward to performing Giles Corey and working with the group. All right, well, you take care, and I hope you enjoy. Hey, my name is Beetle Lance. I'm just beginning on the ropes of voice acting, and you know what? I'm pretty happy about where this is going. My cast is to be Narrator 5, and I'm totally really excited about this. My pronouns are he or him, and I'm basic as fuck. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm loving it all the same. Uh, I'm really excited to go ahead and be doing this project here uh, because I get to go ahead and hear all these talented voice actors, uh, especially go ahead and do their parts. And I'm really excited to go ahead because I never read this book before, but I always heard that it was really good. So I'm really excited because of that. Uh, and to the end, I hope you really like my auditions and my takes when I go ahead and read these roles. All right. See you later. Hello. I have been asked to do this, so I'm going to do it. Hello, uh, I, my name is Suki, not my real name of course, but, and that's what you can call me, but I'm also known as Serpent's Majors. My pronouns are they slash him. I'm fine with either of those. Then the role I play is Reverend John Dale. Something I would like about my, that I like about my character would be, uh, definitely... That he's a reverend. It's just something I've never really done before. So, this is new. And yeah. <laughs> 